Hey guys, it is your boy Benji Angel, and we back with another video. And today is the performance review on the Starberry Threes, and um, let's get into it. So here we have the Starberry Threes. Um, initial thoughts on these: I thought these were pretty dope. I felt like um, it was different in my collection, and instead of you know keep getting Jordans and Nikes, I felt like this is a different. Uh, shoe to have in my collection. I felt like it was kind of one to have in, in the collection since it is different. I felt like it was different from Jordan and Nike, and that's kind of what I like about it. Um, so I'm about to talk about the shoe and the performance and how it performs. So um, traction uh, was pretty good outside. I did play in it for a few minutes outside, and um, they, there there was kind of fire. The traction was pretty nice. So um, you have like white um, kind of patterns on the sole and you have half red half white um kind of like as your main theme of the colorway i think this is the bright crimson i think it's the white and crimson colorway or the cherries but i really do dig this uh colorway um so you have a white and half red and you have the starberry logo with the three and um i felt like it was a pretty nice touch you also have uh the shank plate um it's not carbon fiber but it it is a um Similar to like a carbon fiber, but it's not. It's like a it's like a plastic shank, like the penny sixes have. Um, so it kind of reminds me of that, and um, which is pretty dope. Um, this has not like you know chipped or anything. It was pretty durable. The shank was um, pretty durable. So yeah, I felt like these were pretty sturdy. Um, the traction was pretty sturdy outside. So rating on the traction, I would give it a ten out of ten. Um, for me personally because where um because i like to move around a lot and i like to dribble a lot so i'm happy that these kind of stuck with me while i was doing those things so next thing that we're going to talk about on this shoe is the material now the material is kind of like a synthetic leather it's not like it feels like a suede but it's not a suede it feels like a soft leather um when i did play in them they do kind of crease so it has a little creasing so sorry about that I, but um i was playing in them earlier um, but the white is pretty crispy. It's like a crispy white as your half of your color. Then you have this nice cherry patent leather red um, as the um, as the overlay, which is pretty dope. Um, you have the number three uh, for Starberry or Stefan Marberry. This, this is a third signature shoe. I know he had the ones and the twos, but I felt like the ones and the twos was okay. But I thought the third ones was like nice, so I had to pick these up. Um, and uh, thank you to my mom. She bought me these um, as a gift, so I felt like, yeah, I should perform in these, and I really do like them. Uh, for, for this to be different in my collection, I felt like, yeah, it was well, uh, to me, it was well worth it. I felt like the fit was, yeah, and next thing, yeah, um, fit was pretty true to size for me. Uh, true to size, um, I felt like it was pretty uh, sturdy. Um, I did loosen them up, and then I tied them really tightly to uh, have that supported fit. And when I did, um, tied them up really tightly it gave me that nice support so support was pretty um pretty nice for me for, uh, to go true to size i have not went up a size because i felt like up a size would be too long so i went with my true to size and true to size fit really good whereas up a size it might fit too wide or too long and you might not be able to get that enough support um initial like kind of like well initial thoughts on it um i feel like this shoe um i feel like you know it might not be for everybody. Um, I know some people like different things, like in, like me. I, I feel like this was a, a cop for me because I had too many Jordans and Nikes in my collection, so I thought, let me be different and get something else. Because um, I feel like, you know what, um, I tried Jordans before, I tried Nikes, Tractions, and it's like I want to try something new, so I felt like this was it. Um, retail price on these was, um, I think retail price was uh, $80. I think these was $80. Um, for it to be $80 for a signature shoe, I feel like it was well spent. Um, for $80 is a pretty nice price on these. Um, sometimes they do, I, I heard they do sales on this particular um, brand, or on Starberry, uh, Stephen Marbury's brand, I heard he does sales with this shoe, so that's pretty cool. On the opposite side, you have like the same design as white and red. Um, the cherry red just pops, man. I really do like this red. Um, it shines very nicely. Um, traction was just amazing. I feel, I just felt like it was one of the best tractions I probably ever played in since the D Rose Anglewood twos. So um, 
the D Rose Englewood twos kind of it it fits differently than these, but it gets but the traction feels a little bit the same. It feels exactly the same as the D Roses I have in my collection. Um, support was just amazing. Um, it creases a little bit when you first uh, play in them, so they're going to crease a little bit. Um, but it's not like it's creased all over the shoe. It's it just creased like right here. I would say about to the toe, and I'll probably say like maybe on the um, opposite side. Laces are pretty durable. Um, laces uh, they do tight really tightly. Um, they come all the way up to the the first uh, eyelid, so the shoe eyelid. So that's pretty dope. Um, inside, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Starberry um, with his logo in it um, for Stephen Marbury. Um, and I really do like the player too. I think he's pretty cool. Um, he, uh, he used to play in the NBA, but now he's um, overseas. He's playing in, um, I think, in like China. Um, so shocking that he actually has a statue. He has a statue made after him, which is pretty dope. Um, he was an MVP, I think, about twice. So he has a nice history story. So I say you sh you guys should check it out if you guys don't know who Stephon Marbury is. I feel like he's a good player. Um, he played for the Nets, the Knicks, the Celtics, and I think he plays for the Beijing. I think the Beijing um, Dragons. I think that's what his China, his overseas team. Um, I think that's who he plays for overseas. But he's a pretty uh, pretty nice player. Um, did check out his highlights a few days ago, so he's, he's pretty nice. Um, shoe eyelids are pretty durable. Um, on the tongue, it is a little plush. It is plush. Uh, the tongue is very thick and um, durable as well. So. I was kind of shocked that the tongue was durable as much as the material of the overall shoe because I thought, you know, for this to be kind of like a budget model, but it is a regular signature shoe, I thought it wasn't going to have as nice material. But from um, from a standpoint up front, they look pretty nice in my opinion. I feel like they're nice on feet. They fit true to size for me. Um, you also have like dots on the um, tongue too. It's breathable also. The shoe is in fact breathable. Um, no problems whatsoever. It wasn't hot, super hot when I took them off. It was pretty uh, breathable, so that's very amazing. You don't want a hot, uh, bulky shoe, and you don't want to be sweaty, so you know you want a breathable shoe because it, you know, it it allow it allows your foot to breathe and kind of gives you more of a um, more of a um, kind of yeah, more of a. How can I put it? It, it allows your yeah allows your feet to breathe, so allows your foot. Or your feet to breathe so yeah i like i like how the way these feel um retail price like i said is 80 bucks um if you guys interested in these um you can either get these on starberry.com or uh ebay i would say yeah ebay does sell these um i feel like the price is well spent uh, for this particular shoe um yeah toe box was pretty durable um, I think the overall shoe and also the inside the uh, the mesh material in the inside the stitch the lining in the shoe um, It's pretty nice. Uh, I was very shocked that these was going to be that sturdy. So yeah in, uh, Lining shoe lining is uh, yeah 10 out of 10 for me um, Overall, um, I'll say oh, yeah in the shoe box. I forgot to show you guys the shoe box um, So this is what the shoe box this is what the, sh uh, the shoes come in it comes in the um, a white um, packaging box um, it say starberry um, on the uh, on the top of the box you can see that uh, label there say starberry for Stephen Marbury um, and for him to have his own brand of shoes is amazing so that's pretty dope um, he has his logo there on the top of the box and it's kind of like an arrow or like a black lining going all the way around the shoe or halfway down the shoe um, on the bottom it's just plain black um, packaging is pretty cool um, it's nothing major it's just a white and black box so yeah, it's pretty dope. Um, sizing 12 and a half, uh, white and crimson. That's the colorway for these. Um, now, if I had to probably make a nickname for these, I would probably say, yeah, probably, you know, like the home Chicago Bulls colorway or, you know, cherry, like a cherry or like a cherry red. So, yeah, man, tell me how you guys feel about these. I felt like um, for performance, I felt like these was amazing um, for it to be a budget model. Um, and to me, I felt like it, it's a pretty nice shoe. I don't think it's uh, not that bad um, for 80 bucks. So uh, well spent. I'm sh kind of shocked I found these for that much because uh, I know since his shoes are in fact old, they, I think the first time his shoes came out was in 07 through, I want, I want to say 06 through 07. So that's when his first uh, year of shoes uh, of his shoes came out. So 06 and 07 was like 
the Starberry ones and through I think Starberry ones through fours. I think that's when uh, uh, Starberries was kind of hot back in the day. I didn't know people was wearing these back in the day, but for this to be an older shoe in the OG shoe from two thousand in the two thousands or the early two thousands or the mid two thousands, I feel like it's a pretty nice shoe for twenty twenty for me, especially how the way I play, because um, I like I don't I wouldn't say I like bulky shoes, but I also don't like real heavy shoes, because you know. Real heavy shoes will affect what your game, and also probably you know it would, you know, for heavier dudes, yeah, it's I, you know, heavier dudes, yeah, they can probably get away with more bulky and heavier shoes. But for a guy like me, you know, my foot is a little bit heavy, but it's not as big. Well, it's big, but it's not as like whereas my shoes stop me from shooting. So um, yeah, I'm kind of happy that my foot isn't that big, and I'm happy that the shoes was you know durable for me to play how i play so it this shoe also allowed me to cross over allow me to lay up shoot um, wherever i go this shoe goes with me so this was a pretty nice shoe for me um so tell me how you guys feel man for 80 bucks um tell me how you guys feel um starberry threes um this is my first time having a pair of starberry so this is my very first pair and i think these were i think back in the day this was a overseas shoe so if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Sorry guys, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. If this came, uh, was overseas only, but I think back in the day, I, um, I think people was wearing these. I saw, I think my mom told me that people was wearing these back in the day. So, um, but yeah, man, tell me how you guys feel, man. Thank you for watching this video, man. Please like and subscribe. Um, more comments on the way. Also, um, go represent me um with some merch man go get some error bay link is in the description below we have tons of colors like i said before and all of my rest of my videos we do polos we do regular tees um you know who knows man later in the fall we might do hoodies we might do sweat uh sweaters you, you never know man um we just i'm, I'm happy that we keep grinding so that's what the error brand is all about so thank you guys for supporting me since day one like always uh stay tuned for more content um, hopefully you guys stay safe, man. I know quarantine is still happening, but you know, we're going to get through this, man, together, man. So thank you guys for watching this video. Starberry 3s, 10 out of 10. And uh, Benji Iangio, we out.